Ever wondered if your snoring is a secret language or perhaps a nocturnal concert you're unwillingly hosting for your neighbors? Well, you're not the only one. So let's dive deep into the science behind this fascinating and sometimes hilarious phenomenon. You see, snoring is not just a quirky habit or a way to scare off potential monsters under the bed. It's a real scientific occurrence that happens when you're in dreamland. Now don't get carried away thinking it's a sign of being an amazing sleeper, because in reality it's a little more complicated than that. Imagine the air flowing through your nose or mouth down the throat and into the lungs. Sounds simple, right? But when you're asleep, those pesky muscles in your throat relax, narrowing the passage for air to flow. The narrower the airway, the more forceful the airflow becomes. This causes the relaxed tissues in the throat to vibrate and voila, you're giving a solo snoring performance. Think of it as a whistling kettle. The steam, much like the air, forces its way through a narrow spout causing the infamous whistle. Your snoring is essentially the same concept, just less tea involved and more sleep disrupting. And then there's the tongue, a key player in the snoring symphony. When you're deep in slumber, your tongue can fall back, blocking the airway and intensifying the snoring. So no, your tongue isn't just for tasting your favorite ice cream or singing your favorite song. It's also a part-time DJ, dropping beats in the middle of the night. Now, what about those who claim they don't snore? Well, they're either in denial or they're the lucky ones who have spacious airways, toned throat muscles, or perhaps their tongues have just refused to take up DJing. But hey, don't feel bad if you're part of the snoring club. It's a worldwide concert with millions of people contributing their unique notes every night. And remember, while it might be the butt of many jokes, snoring can also be a sign of health issues like sleep apnea. So, if your nightly concerts are more like rock festivals, it might be worth speaking with a health professional. So there you have it, the science behind your nighttime serenades. Whether you're a solo performer or part of a duet, remember, it's all down to relaxed throat muscles, forceful airflow, and a DJing tongue. So, next time someone complains about your snoring, just tell them you're practicing for your next big concert. Good night and happy snoring.